The purpose of this video is to explain to my sixth grade students the difference between horizontal and vertical lines. I realized that there was a need for this tutorial after hearing students use the words horizontal and vertical um, when they were actually meaning to um, refer to something the opposite way. Now, let's check out this picture of my girls flying kites at Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Now, one of the things that I want us to, to look at is, is right here, right here where the ocean meets the sky. Now, when you look at that black line that I drew, where the ocean meets the sky, this is the horizon. And horizon, uh, you'll notice, is a line that is uh, parallel to the surface of the earth. This line, uh, which will also be seen as the x-axis on um, coordinate planes, uh, this line is horizontal. Any line that uh, is, is parallel to the earth, or, or a line like this one, a line that is uh, flat, we will say, this line is horizontal. And hopefully you'll remember that when you think of the horizon. And the horizon, you know, might be where, you know, the sun sets and you can see a little bit of the, of the earth and, and the sky and where it meets. This is the horizon. So this is horizontal. Now, there's also vertical. And with vertical, I have another picture. I took this picture of the Breathitt County War Memorial. And in this picture, we see all kinds of lines, literally all kinds. We see uh, horizontal lines, vertical lines, oblique lines, which you might know of as uh, diagonal lines. Now, for a line to be vertical, it has to be 90 degrees to the Earth's surface. And there is a little bit of warp, considering that this was a wide-angle lens. And there's a little bit of distortion. But this flagpole that we see here, this... Uh, this flagpole is actually uh, would be considered vertical. Now, it's hard to tell that because of the distortion, but notice uh, the straight up and down, straight up and down, and that's how the flagpole would actually look without the distortion. The flap and down, this is vertical, and vertical will be perpendicular to a horizontal line. And where a horizontal line and a vertical line meet, at that uh, axis it will be 90 degrees and a lot of times uh, you may see vertical lines on coordinate planes listed as the y-axis so vertical goes straight up and down if I were to look at this uh, picture I can see all kinds of lines now let's, let's consider that any line that is remotely up and down is 90 degrees we have this obelisk now, because of distortion, it may look like it's oblique or diagonal, not exactly 90 degrees, but we can consider this an example of a vertical line. This one here could be an example of a vertical line. This uh, broken obelisk, we can consider an example of a, a vertical line. These uh, posts are examples of vertical lines. Uh, the point where the wall, the memorial wall, meets up with the outside of the coroner's office here could uh, make a vertical line. All of these lines that are part of the facade of the courthouse uh, make up vertical lines. And, and, and these windows, these windows make up vertical lines. So those are all examples of vertical lines then. If we were to talk about some uh, horizontal lines in this drawing, uh, in this photograph, we might could refer to the horizontal lines of uh, the brickwork, or the horizontal lines where uh, the awning uh, would go. Uh, but those are uh, just some, uh, some examples of vertical, those that go up and down, and horizontal, those that go from left to right. Uh, those are just some examples of uh, horizontal lines. Now I'm going to uh, show an example of a math problem. This is an example of a fraction problem that my students have worked out and I would refer to the format of this math problem as vertical because it is up and down. 
Now, if this had been uh, writ written like, um, let's say, let's say six and three fourths subtract two and one third, we would say that's more of a horizontal because it goes from like from from left to right. Some students find it a lot easier to solve uh, subtraction and addition problems in a vertical, uh, while some students may find it easier to do it in a horizontal method. But I've heard a lot of students they'll want to refer to this for some reason the wrong way. This is what we consider vertical. This is what we consider horizontal. I just want to get that across so as students are discussing uh, with their peers or others uh, the placement of uh, math problems that when they write their math problem out like this they realize they are writing in a horizontal format if they have their problems like this it is a vertical format I hope that this video has helped thanks for watching